Unless you're a domain expert, getting close to the customer and becoming the customer is sometimes really hard. Sometimes it requires you to spend weeks in a library reading up on computational fluid dynamics or computational chemistry. Sometimes it even requires you to have a co-founder in that space. But sometimes it takes you to do some extraordinary efforts to have empathy uh, for your potential customers. And here's a great example of empathy for customers. Karina, thank you for having me today. I'm really excited to share our new glucose monitoring app with you. It helps diabetics measure their blood sugar. You're a diabetic, right? Right, yeah, I'm a diabetic. So this should be an app that I, I imagine you'll love it. It's really gonna help you on a daily basis, I'm sure. Um, I mean, I have diabetes, but what, what do you really know about diabetes? I mean, I've had this disease my whole life. I've read a lot of research on diabetes. Like, this is an app that should really help you. You know, I have to stick myself seven to 10 times a day to measure my glucose levels. You know that I get calluses on my fingers from that? Uh, I, I don't know all the details, actually, of what it's like to yeah, be a diabetic. Yeah, you, don't, you, don't, have, you don't have a clue about what my life is like. Karina, thank you again for letting me come and talk to you about the app we're developing. So it's an app specifically for diabetics to help you monitor your blood glucose levels. What do you really know about diabetes? So I admit, as a non-diabetic, I can't know exactly what it's like to be diabetic. But in order to build an app that could really help diabetics, I've spent the last month living like I was diabetic. So I've pricked my finger and checked my blood before every meal and mornings and nights, just so I could understand what a diabetic went through. What? Really? You've been... You've been pricking yourself? Yeah, I mean, you probably know this better than anybody, but now I have calluses across all of my fingers and I'm having to like use new fingers all the time just to be able to get blood out. I mean, at the end of the day, how can we build an app that can really help diabetics if we don't understand what it's like to be a diabetic? Well, I, like, I really appreciate that you've been trying to empathize with what my experience is like. So, I mean, is it okay if I show you the app now and kind of explain to you why I think it'll help you? Yeah, yeah, of course, I'd love to see it. Mm -hmm.